Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. Sabonis and Turner up front. Brogdon out there with Kump. And it's Warren in at the three. And it's going to be the Pacers off the tip. Now here's Conley. Pass to Warren. The kick out to Sabonis. Off target from outside. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Junior the pass to Curry. And it goes down two points. And you can see the floor awareness there. Junior more than capable of spotting the open teammate. Outside Conley. Logged in against Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Rodden kicks to Sabonis. And here we go. Fast break. Wiggins has got it. Loads it up for Junior. And the dunk by Duncan. Always in pursuit of the basketball. If you throw it up, Junior's looking to throw it down. Rodden outside. Conley the pass to Warren. That's in there. Conley with the assist. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Higgins outside. Down low. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Boy, a lot of heart displayed that time by Junior on that play. Commits to a shot and then wins the and one. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Now Conley. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Denver. And also three steals. So he, he showed some grit and determination on the defensive side. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. And the shot goes in from Bowler. And this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right on point and can't miss. Brogdon outside. Pass to Warren. Sweet little floater. Warren's got five now. Well, he's got a variety of shots, and that one from Warren displayed beautiful touch. And one thing I like about Brogdon is his size. A huge 6'10 wingspan for guards. Gives him an advantage in matchups. Let's him finish over smaller defenders as well. Here's Conley following the basket by Andrew Wiggins. The pass to Warren. The kick out to Sabonis. Off target with his three. And great with Brogdon and his size. It allows flexibility on defense as well. Yeah, I mean, it makes switching on the pick and roll easier with him at the top. There isn't a lot of flash to how Brogdon plays on the floor, but you can't deny how impactful he is in all facets. And so here is Indiana. The Warriors making the shot. And Warren, here we go. Wiggins with some nice deep. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Thompson. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Clippers. Boy, he was piling up those assists in that one. I mean, every pass seemed to be on time and on target. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. So timeout called here, the first for Indiana. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams. And, you know, there's always a bit of a feeling out process in that first game between opponents. A lot different than when you've played a team you're familiar with. Now here's Turner. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Pass to Duncan. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Real 
really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And, you know, Carmelo Anthony is a special player, guys. A bulky, small forward with a quick trigger release, an elite score. And so he hits both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Junior, the pass to Poole. They grab their own miss. Here's Pascal. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence, the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Now, here is Holiday. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Back to Turner. Shot clock at six. Anthony, no one around. And the Pacers can't get it to go. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 19 to seven run. Knight kicks to Duncan. Inside, here's Smilagic. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. That's tipped. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Anthony. Fifteen seconds left to play in the first. room to finish that one. Boy, Junior packs a lot of production into his minutes on the floor because he gives great effort on the glass. And so it's the Golden State Warriors in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Warriors. It looks like they're ready to run, fellas. I mean, they haven't hesitated at all to get out on the break so far. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. Jamari Carroll is out there with Duncan. Then there's Brandon Knight. Then it's Eric Pascal. And it's Wanamaker in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Junior, in his last outing against the Clippers, was tremendous. He ended up with 43 points, and as he always seems to do, piled up rebound after rebound. When you look at the stat sheet, he was mind-blowing. It's hard to imagine he can follow it up tonight with that same level of production. Kevin, we'll see. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Yeah, you know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this. One. Feels confident that he can build on that prior success. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And guys, that's a pretty good improvement over last season. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Pass to Caldwell. That shot misses. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Anthony taking his time here. Pass to Caldwell. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time D. Junior, the pass to Poole. That's good, and so Duncan with the assist. Junior 
Jr.'s got his seventh assist here tonight. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Way to attack there and then create the contact. Really as close as you can get to an and one right there. He almost had it. And it's the Pacers with the ball. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That'll be game four of this six-game road trip. Passes it to Carmelo. Can they get it? And so it's the Golden State Warriors having no problems at all. Up 29 points heading into the next quarter. From that it's threatening to be. What can you say? T.J. Warren, a very impressive effort here today. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. And so in the game for the Pacers. Sabonis and Turner up front. Conley out there with Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Warren in at the three slot. Basket, good. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. They retain possession. Warren the pass to Brogdon. Five on the clock. Well, an awful beginning to this half, guys. Missing their first four attempts. Thompson outside over Conley. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Thompson's got six. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. They double him with Wiggins. Turner, the bounce pass. Wiggins against Warren. Shoots the three. And the rebound goes to Duncan. Junior's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough. But that's how you win games. They double him with Wiggins. Conley with the three. Indiana with a new shot clock. Duncan with the block. Junior doing a nice job there. Making sure that shot didn't get up. And some changes here for the Warriors. Smiley Geach has checked in. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Clay Thompson. Then for the Pacers, Gordon Hayward's checked in for Miles Turner. And Aaron Holliday's subbed in for Mike Conley. Duncan, good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists in the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Warren, the pass to Sabonis. Back to Warren. They could use a bucket. The Warriors pull it in to the inside. Junior dishes to Wiggins. Shoots over Warren. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Oh, offensive interference. Basket interference. So both teams changing it up here. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for Indiana. Still looking for their first bucket of the second half. with the steal and here's the break on up the court and Poole gets it to go Poole's got five points so far great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish that is the perfect fast break guys getting a hoop before the defense can get set Hayward and the layup is good and with that basket he's able to end a 10-0 run by Golden State to the middle. Here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. And this has been Junior's game so far. It's obvious he's not afraid to step up and carry the offense. Caldwell passes to Sabonis. 
outside, Anthony. Back to Sabonis. Launches a three. That one misses. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. To the paint. And Junior throws it down. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. And Junior throws it down. And, and I consider Junior to be a natural athlete. Really impressed with his ability to finish plays. Outside Holiday. There's the pass to Caldwell. Five to shoot. Fires the three. And it's Junior with the rebound. Duncan's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And Duncan throws it down. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Anthony. Timeout time called time the out. Warriors. Start it. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.